Oh boy. I wonder if anyone can tell that I just had to redo this entire intro. You wouldn't if I hadn't said it. Um, anyway, hey, hi-ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon Olshuk, and welcome yet again to another episode of Anohana. This time it is episode... Six. Nailed it. Forget me, forget me not. I want to say yes. Fucking genius. Um, what was last episode? Why, it was tunnels. Thank you, very good, sir. Also, it was five. Probably didn't need to tell you that part. You probably know basic counting skills. I don't know. You put an A on that, then it's accounting. And that's a little harder than just counting, isn't it? Also, there's also another C in that word. I can't spell. We're talking about counting, not the ability to spell. Um, anyway. Yeah, so we're here for Anohana episode 6. Uh, the thing that I just said. Um, so, yeah, what do I have to say before we get into the actual little recap of the last episode? Well, I'm glad you asked. Me. <sighs> I gotta remember... This is now a new thing, and I had to resay all the old shit. Anyway, point is, um, down in the description below, you will see that there is a poll. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the north one, because that's that's not down, that's up. You silly, silly goose, you. Wordsmith. Um, anyway, uh, but down in the description, there is another poll, uh, and this time it is to pick the eventual replacements. Uh, these are going to be a little on the earlier side, but the eventual replacements for um, No Game to Life, which is coming closer to an ending, and then this show, which has still got a little bit to go, but I, I feel it's best to just handle the two at the same time. Um, I'm looking for kind of happier, go lucky, go fucking figure that after this, I'm like, I just want happiness. Um, but yeah, no, so, uh, to replace No Game to Life and Anohana when we eventually get there, um, we're going to go for uh, hopefully some happier you know, fun, maybe some, some absurdity, and maybe some lovey dubbiness. Lovey dubby? That's not, that's not words. That's not a B in those words. Um, but you know, so, uh, please, by all means, check them out and tell me what you guys are thinking, maybe, if, uh, there's anything in there you guys would like to see once we finish up, uh, this show and the one who came before. And by that, I mean before in the week. They came at about the same time. No, I guess they didn't, because that's why we would be on episode nine. And only episode six, so I'm lying to you. Um, but yeah, no, so those are some things to talk about. Um, also, uh, because uh, No Game is another show... What the f I need to fix my fucking mustache. Um, anyway, point is, because of the uh, fact that No Game Life is also another show with a movie, much like this show, uh, I've been kind of raising the question on how, I'm so, how we would like me to handle getting to that one. Um, I I'm just not sure when I should get to it. Uh, the, the movies for that, and obviously for this one as well, uh, which is why I'm asking you guys now, um, you know, how I should get to it. Should I do it just right after I finish the show? Do you guys want me to do it all in one video? Do you think maybe I should break it up into, like, maybe one or two episodes? One or two? Two or three episodes? Nailed it. Yes, because one or two. Shit. Um, like what, what do you guys think I should do? Do you guys have any opinions? By all means, tell me down below. That's what the comment section, comment section's for really whatever you want it to be for. But this is one of those specific instances where I'm asking you specifically to tell me what your response is to a specific question that I specifically said to you specifically. Do you get these specifics? Um, uh, but you know, so there's all that. What else do I have? Steins Gate uh, started up this week, and it is kind of fucking rad. Um, I, I really, really like it so far. We're doing the dub on it. Uh, I was gonna originally do it like this show. Where I was like, "Well, we're gonna do one episode to dub, one episode to sub. We'll see which we like to put in the tub." Um, and then I watched the first episode in the dub, and I was like, "I, I just want to watch the dub. I'm sorry, it's too good." Um, so we're doing that. Um, but you know, so that's there. I'm really digging it so far. Uh, fucking immediately fell in love with the characters. Uh, so that's that. Uh, next week is Plastic Memory is going to be starting up. Uh, hopefully we have a smooth introduction to that series as well. And by smooth, I mean the introduction to Steins Gate was terrible. Not the not the episode. M mine, because I'm awful. Um, but you know this. There's a reason there's 12 of you watching this right now. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's all that. What else do I have? Uh, a whole lot of fucking nothing. What happened in the last episode? Well, I'm so glad you asked me. Did I already say this earlier, or was that in the previous video that didn't stick in the recording? That's what I'm trying to... Let me tell you about tunnels. Um, Yeah, I, I really liked the last episode. And that's not saying much, because I've, I've really liked 
literally the entire show so far. Again, it's a weird thing where it hurts me on every fucking level, but I really, really, really like it. Is that bittersweet I was talking about? Well, as we're talking about to you, good sir, um, or ma'am, probably some beautiful ass women out there. Probably, maybe man can dream. Um, anyway, so, uh, in the last episode, we got a lot on both, uh, mostly on Yuki Yatsu. There was a lot in regards to Yuki Yatsu and I really, really liked it. Uh, again, cause he's one of those characters who starts off very dickish, um, but once you can at least get to see why he is the way he is and get to see him kind of grow a bit, you could very easily become like my favorite fucking character. If Franks has taught me anything, it's that, you know, you uh, Franks and Ruby, for example, are shows that were some of my absolute favorite characters in the goddamn shows were ones I fucking despised in the beginning. It's like, you're such a dick. And by the end of it, I'm like, I just want you to be happy, be in, be, enjoy life to its fullest. I don't ever want to see you stop smiling. It's like, it's that kind of shit. So it's definitely going to happen with Yuki Yatsu, unless it doesn't, um, but it could. Uh, so there's all that. Because not only do we get a little reason as to why he's fucking so fucked up as he is. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Everyone has a very big reason. It's just he had a little reason on top of that reason for the season. Um, see, it works because Christmas. Then, no, it's not. It doesn't work at all. Um, and then, <laughs> and then later on, uh, we got to see him, you know, kind of just be a, a good dude and help out Anaru a bit, which I really, really appreciate because um, I love that girl, and I want her to be happy, and if I ever see that man again, I might just rip his face off. I don't, like, I, I, I know that's not very kosher, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a pacifist, but I've always been a fan of the saying, and by saying, I mean, like, I came up with it, so please, if you're gonna use it, it's trademark, register channel, shook, by all means, put that shit on a t-shirt, and that is, uh, you know, I, as a pacifist, sometimes you have to put the fist in pacifist. I'm just, I'm saying some, that's something, times you gotta do that, and when you get in handsy, that's one of them times. I'll put you in the earth. Um, I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, I really like the scene, even if I fucking hated the scene, but you get what I mean. Uh, and just the episode in general. I really, I really did like it. Also, it's one of the few I could actually talk a fair amount about. So hopefully that ends up with being how this one goes as well. Um, but uh, knowing me, it definitely won't, especially not because that title scares me. Um, so anyway, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna watch, watch that episode. Nailed it. I sound like I have a mental condition, don't I? I probably do. And I just don't know about it. I made it this far in life. I'll get, I'll get by. Probably. Anyway, we're, I almost pressed stop. What is my mouse even doing on that fucking screen? What is it doing? What is wrong with me? Um. Anyway, we're going to get started here in Trace. Dose. I want to make sure everything was set up. Tacos. Rampardos. What a lovely fossil Pokemon. Um, Um, okay, 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 what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry, I have to, okay, so you just sat and saw me do all that for some reason. What the fuck is going on? Um, off. There you go. Okay, so started the fucking episode, was like, oh, well, I guess I need to see what the fucking thing is, so I guess I got him all right, and then I forgot, nope, that's not what I did, I fucked it up and got it all wrong, so then I had to return the goddamn thing on there, try to switch the fucking subtitles, I'm like, oh, this will work, and then I did it, and then it didn't fucking work, and then I have to redo the whole goddamn, and put the whole fuck, put the fucking fuck. Three, two, one, boom. There it is. I'll take a potato chip, and I'll fucking eat it, I'm sorry. Sorry. <sighs> okay, so this is some problem. 
I don't know why it's doing that. I need to. Okay. I'm missing everything that's being said. What the fuck is happening? Okay, now I'm good. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm so sorry. The subtitles went ape shit for the entire first 30 seconds of this fucking video. So I'm sorry. Look at this muffin. I love her. I love them all. All right, well, that's just unnecessary. <laughs> I cannot express how much I love this intro, by the way. Like, it is... This might be one of my favorite intros of all time. And I... I kind of really adore the outro, too. Like, I, I love both of them. Like... No game has a very fun intro, but the outro is fucking god tier. I don't know why. I just I love it so much. This one just I don't know. I I it just immediately instills a ton of fucking emotion in me. I was talking about you earlier today in the Discord. Did you know your English voice actor in Ruby? I did. That's neat. Um <laughs> Oh, it just fucking hurts every time she's on screen. Again, it's just it bittersweet is the only way I can say it. She's just anytime you see Menma, you're like, Oh, I love her. And then you're like, Oh, fuck. And then you're like, But I do I love her though. But fuck. God, I love this intro. I just really like this show too. So much goddamn emotion in it. All I know is I respect his uh, outfit choice. That was me the entire time in school. Just... Oh my god. Also, between this and No Game No Life, I is ruining my fucking existence. Like, I cannot deal with this girl in my fucking heart. <laughs> She's doing some damage. I mean, she always has. Because <laughs> the other big thing I know her from is Sheena from Sakura, so obviously. Um... Girl just knows how to rip my damn heart out, is what I'm trying to say. He had a very adorable mom. Look at her, she's cute. You can't right now, because we're looking at Menma, but she also cute. Dude, I don't fucking know. Like, I had that one whole discussion. I'd, I don't know. Hey, now. Fucking leave her alone, please. So I've established I fucking adore her, and I need you to not be a douchebags.
is this kind of shit that literally made it so I didn't graduate high school. Like, it's it's this fucking bullshit. And I cannot fucking... I just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just I don't fucking respond to that shit well. <laughs> And not with fucking people I like. You know, I'm just such a goddamn sweetheart. Man, you got the terrifying eyes of a gorilla. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you you trying, but fucking come on. Oh, I fucking love smiley blushy. Oh. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, be careful. 
Get some fucking gloves first, goddamn. was kind of a, a wonderful enigma. All right, leaving all y'all behind. I'm sure he didn't necessarily get much better with time. I don't know if I'm correctly, we saw him a teeny bit for a second, but yeah, that's my big concern. What is her opinion? I just that family altogether. Mom's kind of a sweetheart, too. <sighs> Get the tingle in the nose, which makes everything else want to go. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Some people find that attractive. It's true, she's she's kind of sassy, but she does seem to have a relatively good head on her.
Huh. So it tells me it's probably important, considering the rest of the events of that day, then. Yeah. I mean, how the fuck would you not? I cannot fucking fathom the thought of losing my goddamn kid, man. I can't, I can't fathom the thought of having a fucking kid. Let alone... Someone tell me to get the fuck over, I'll get them over a fucking bridge. <laughs> yeah. See, probably would have been in the best interest of you to figure that out before you had to go clean up Popo's fucking everything. <laughs> but, uh... Right, when you can push that shit to the back of your mind, it isn't as bad, but when that's fucking there. <sighs> Literally the only character I've ever seen that when that physically fucking hurts me every single time she smiles rather than just like say the end of a series Stab my man's brain. Yeah, that's dangerous for my everything. Um, <laughs> you 
Dude, I can't even judge. Pajamas. It does it for me as just a human being. Um, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. You don't. I don't even know if that's getting picked up on the microphone, but it's just it's a slap in the knees. Um, oh. oh, I didn't get one in yet today. Uh, you know, daily reminder that, you know, she's just, hey, bitch, you go. Um, I really needed that. I really needed that a little. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that really, like that whole ending that really put me in a way, but just seeing her with the fucking noodles in her mouth really helped. Ugh, snap me out of it. Fuck. It makes that title make a lot more sense. God damn it. It just hurts, man. I don't know what to say. I think I actually managed to get a lot of my feelings out throughout the show. But, you know, it's... It's like... It's, again, this this show in itself is just... It feels like it's a, it's a no-win scenario, right? Like, I think the best possible ending you can have is, you know, maybe Yukiatsu and Suriko find, you know, Sublum and each other. Um... Jinta and uh, Anaru maybe and then you know Popo exists and <laughs> is who he is um, and then uh, Menma manages to kind of find some actual peace by the end of it but I don't know again I it is it, she's such a interesting because again I I there's absolutely many a situation where I have cried over characters being happy on this channel, I can think of one just 20 minutes of bawling my eyes out because of said things. Um, but, like, I don't know. It's just... That's always ever in, like, one specific scenario. But Menma is just a fucking... Anytime you ever see her, you're immediately hit with, yeah, and oh, no, at the same time. Fuck. Which, again, or immediately when I started the show, I'm like, I'll buy a fucking Magnum figure immediately. I'll do it. If I did, I'll fucking cry every time I see it. It's mad. <laughs> it's maybe a bad idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, so I suspect we're going to get a little bit more on whatever it was that Menmo wanted advice on or whatever here soon. And wonder if that'll maybe fit into her wish. Because of the title of the show, I get the impression that, you know, the flower we saw that day, well, I, it, Anohana, because Hana is flower, right? I just don't know what the Ano part turns it into or whatever. It probably turns it into the flower we saw that fucking day or some shit. But, like, like in the end, I, I definitely get an impression that somehow a flower is going to be relevant. Um, and maybe, I don't know, the ones that you see every seven seconds in the fucking intro. Um, maybe seven seconds. You see, they're fucking everywhere. Point, point zero, no, yes, point zero zero seven seconds. There we go. Now, that's much better of an example. Um, anyway... Um, fuck. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have much else other to say than I'm continuing to love the show, and my heart can't take it. Um, fuck. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys, uh, next time, uh, when we do episode seven, which I don't know the name of, but, uh, you know, we'll get it when we get it. Um, again, uh, check out Steinsgate 
on the channel if you guys care to. I am in it to win it. Um, please, please, please give it the poll a look. And why did I put that all the way up there? Just all the goddamn way up there. Um, tell me what you guys think about the poll. Um, pick your, pick and choose your options by all means. You can vote for as many as you want. Um, we need to pick two anyway. So check it out. Again, tell me what you guys think about uh, how we want to handle the movie. Because your boy has no fucking idea. Um... I need a box of fucking tissues just with me at all times for, you know, tears. Porn. I'm so like, just, I, 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 you know, I need, <laughs> I need them at all times. Um, anyway, <laughs> the show made the joke. They made it before I did. So don't judge me. Um, but, you know, uh, tell me what you guys think about potentially how we want to handle the movie. And um, I guess that's really all I have to say other than that. Uh, the poll does end on December 15th, so hop, hop on there. Quick as a cucumber. I don't know how fast cucumbers are. Um, they're not at all there. Inanimate objects. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching Toodles, Doodles, and Lemons. <laughs> bye bye okay huh. my emotions <laughs>